ുംഗദർ ask let us invoke the mighty anointing of the holy spirit hallelujah 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 please stand up let us let us pray together hallelujah 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 holy spirit fall afresh on me sons of god take away all the darkness from our hearts embrace us oh holy spirit surround us with your divine peace we cast out all our burdens into your hands oh lord you are all powerful you are almighty we believe oh holy spirit you can take away all our iniquities you can clean you can cleanse us wash me your holy spirit help me to understand the scriptures help me to understand my heavenly father help me to love my heavenly father oh holy spirit come and teach us come and instruct us Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Dear and loving sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ. Today Holy Spirit took a passage from 2 Chronicles chapter 
33 there we can read the life of a Israel king a king whom God appointed in his house his name was Manasseh praise the Lord praise, praise the Lord, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. He was the son of Hezekiah. Hezekiah. The king Hezekiah. His father, King Hezekiah, was a very righteous king. A very holy king. God was pleased with the King Hezekiah. In his old age, he had a son, and his name is Manasseh. Now let us read from Second Chronicles chapter 33 verse 1 onwards. Let us read. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominable practices of yes, the nations. Yes, his father King Hezekiah was a very holy king. God was so much pleased with the King Hezekiah. But his son Manasseh was just opposite. What all sacred things, what all uh, good things his father did, he reversed all things. In Jerusalem, he filled with all kind of evil activities. He filled Jerusalem with evil things. Abominable things. Yes, it is described in uh, verses 2 to 7. For he rebuilt the high places which his father Hezekiah had broken down, and erected altars to the Baals, and made Asherahs, and worshipped all the host of heaven, and served them. And he built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said, In Jerusalem shall my name be forever. Yes, God hate idolatry. Always and everywhere, God warned his people, Run away from idolatry. The kings were in charge of the uh, protecting the people from idolatry. So his father, King Hezekiah, destroyed all altars for the pagan gods. And he cleansed the people and he consecrated the people to the living God. When his son came, Manasseh came, he did just the opposite. He brought all kinds of pagan gods. He rebuilt the altars for pagan gods. Even in the house of God, he erected altars for pagan gods. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, it is, it is an abominable thing for God. Think about yourself. Are you serving a living God? Are you clear before your God? Is there any idol in your heart? Then you are not acceptable to the Lord. Is there any idol in your heart? Man, all worldly things, pleasures, sensual pleasures, anything of this world, it can prevent you from worshipping your heavenly father. All things that prevent you from worshipping from, uh, from union of your uh, union with your heavenly father, it is an idol in your spiritual life. Sometimes your job, sometimes pornography, sometimes drugs, all things which hold you back, which pull you back from worshipping your God, from loving your God, from the union with your God, is an idol in your life. See, in Jerusalem, King Manasseh, he was, he was enjoying 
promoting idolatry even he was there enough to kill his sons for pagan gods he burned his sons for pagan gods and he promoted he prompted the israeli people to do the same his own sons were burned for pagan gods so much of sin was there in his heart a wicked heart he became a cruel wicked ruler in the in the kingdom yes let us read four onwards and he built altars for all the host of heaven in the two courts of the house of the lord and he burned his sons as an offering in the valley of the son of hinnom and practiced soothsaying and augury and sorcery and dealt with mediums and with wizards he did much evil in the sight of the lord provoking him to anger and the image of the idol which he had made he set in the house of god of which god said to david and to solomon his son in this house and in jerusalem which i have chosen out of all the tribes of israel i will put my name forever yes even in the house of god he filled evil things many times god spoke with this king and god spoke with the people of god keep away from all these things run away from idolatry like that lord spoke through his prophets but they never gave him their ears they never obeyed him they were like war horses they were they were moving ahead moving ahead doing evil things so when we are we are involved we are immersed in evil things we are immersed in sins the voice of the lord will be a foolishness for us we can't accept that we don't feel any value for that uh, such things for divine things for spiritual things we will think this useless spiritual life prayer life sacramental life sunday practice family prayer we will feel useless again and again lord spoke with these people but they were not ready to hear they felt all those things were baseless and useless and foolishness so they were proud of their wickedness they were proud of their evil things they were proud of their sins hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 then the kingdom began to decline second chronicle 33 10 to 13 the lord spoke to manasa and to his people but they gave no heed therefore the lord brought upon the commanders of the army of the king of assyria who took manasa with hooks and bound him with fetters of bronze and brought him to babylon yes he was taken on as a slave to babylon now he was in chain he was terribly beaten he all kinds of all kinds of afflictions were inflicted on him he was totally destroyed his kingdom was destroyed his capital city was destroyed all his family members were killed he was taken as a captive to the foreign country and he was a slave and he was in chain and he was in dark room darkness surrounded him nobody was there with him he lost everything nobody is there nothing is there with him in that distress in the days of tears loneliness he remembered his god he remembered his god from there from the depth of the darkness from the depth of the desolation 
from there he cried out he humbled himself greatly before god and cried out lord lord remember me come to me see heavenly father heard that prayer he came to him he suddenly he forgot all things what he did all the evil wicked things he was ready to forgive him so that is a heart of our heavenly father he didn't keep the account of his wickedness he forgave everything and he came to him once again he brought this king to jerusalem and established as a king and he reigned there for years and years for 55 years he was king in jerusalem see how much merciful our god is my dear brothers and sisters you are most welcome there is a place for you in god's heart don't think i am so much bad don't think i am terribly bad i am terribly lost i am lost don't think like that there is a room for you there is a place for you in god's heart welcome god is inviting you now let us pray for some time please stand up sometime your heart may be undergoing a situation of a, a distress and a, a very desolate condition you may be under tension you may be in the dark room of loneliness now maybe everything is lost and you have nothing in you with you everything lost don't give yourself to desperation don't give yourself to distress there is god from the depth of your tears from the depth of your desolation if you call if you remember your god if you remember your god he is ready to forgive he is ready to forgive all what you did in your lifetime he will make a new creation jesus christ now let us lift up our hands remember your god a merciful god where everybody has a place always and everybody has a room god is waiting now let us surrender our hearts maybe full of sins maybe full of wickedness whatever may be take your heart give your life to the hands of god hands of jesus he will wash you he will cleanse you hallelujah 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 and you are i give you my heart hallelujah hallelujah i give you my soul oh lord lord hallelujah for you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. There is a place for you in God's heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, when we pray before the blessed sacrament the power of god is flowing from the holy eucharist 
as said in Psalm 68, 1 and 2, as the wax melt in the fire, so the wicked powers will be driven away in the presence of God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you want a deliverance, especially if there is anything which is blocking, which is doing harm, disturbance for your marital life, family life, if there is lack of harmony, lack of unity, always quarreling, always suspicion, always fear, anything, any powers of darkness is there uh, disturbing you in your family life. Now, I am giving you a Eucharistic benediction. I am giving a blessing during this time of, during the time of this blessing. I will bind every evil powers from your family. So, believe in the words of Jesus. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. I have given you the authority to trample over snakes, scorpion and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Luke chapter 10 verse 18. Jesus said to them, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. This will happen. Right now it will happen. Please lift up your hands and pray with an ardent faith. Jesus, Lamb of God, Jesus, you took away Jesus, all our sins Jesus, by the power of the crucifixion. I will have, definitely I will have deliverance. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands and praise together. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Praise and all thanksgiving.